This is Paris Future Prophecy Part 5. And this first segment of Paris Prophecy 5 will cover dreams from letter A to letter H. This is section 10, letter A. There are 10 dreams in this segment that begins with the letter A. There are 9 dreams about airplanes and there's one dream about an arrow. The first number in this segment is the number 1. This segment is called Section 10, One Airplane Dream, or S10-1AID. In the month of April 15, 2010, I recorded this dream inside my dream book. Today I had a light dream. I dreamt I stood over ground zero where the Twin Towers once stood in the year 2001. It was daytime and it appeared to be quite gray out. I seen several white construction workers moving wooden boards back and forth. Then I noticed that some of the construction workers were now under muddy water. The brown like water were over their heads. Most of the white construction workers I believe were on their way to construct the new skyscraper that will soon take the place of the fallen World Trade Towers. I sensed that the water that were now right over the heads of the workers came upon the workers by surprise. Then the next things I witnessed in this dream was now I was home at Halsey Street. It was also a daytime here, but the daylight was bright and sunny. I stood in the vestibule of my Halsey Street home and then the next thing that I noticed was now I was on the third floor of my brownstone home and I was inside my father's room. My father was not in his room. I looked out the window and I spotted military men running upon the stoop of my home. I seen a black military man who wore green fatigue rushed up upon the stoop of the house. Then he entered inside the room where I'm still was stationed. Then the black military man began to ask me questions in a kind of angry way. I don't remember what he was asking me, but I became afraid of him. Then the very last incident that took place inside my dream was now I was at Ashford Street where I grew up in. I was on the corner of Ashes Street and Workman Avenue. Actually, I stood at the edge of a green lawn of my old friend who i uh, grown up with um, at Ashes Street and, uh, back in the 70s. And I, in this dream, I wore in the spring or summer wear. Then after I noticed where I was, I suddenly seen a very wide, white, and narrow commercial plane fly over the roof of my old friend's house. And this is the plane that I see fly over the roof of my old friend's house. The plane was very wide, it was very long, and it flown very low over the roof of my friend's house that I grew up with in the 70s. This plane must have been 70 or 80 feet above the ground I stood on and the plates and the plane also must have flown 20 feet above my friend you know uh, home over, his, over the roof. The sight of the sudden appearance of this strange aircraft almost made me go into cardiac arrest. I was truly frightened at what I seen. This airplane headed down Workman Avenue, which is opposite direction to John F. K. Airport, and more close to Starry City than I woke up. The next number in this segment is the number two. This piece is called Section 10, Two Airplane Dream, or S10, Two AID. In the month of May 29, 2010, 
I recorded this dream inside my dream book. Today I dreamt that I was walking around somewhere in an American city. It was daytime. The sky above me was very blue. Then after I gazed upon the blue sky, I then beheld a strange looking plane in the air. This plane was small like a normal sized automobile. Then I quickly noticed the red and white lights on the plane's side. This particular aircraft spun around in a circular uh, formation and then it stopped and hovered over my head. And I have a drawing of this particular plane which was like the size of a normal automobile. Uh, the plane flown around and then it hovered over my head. The plane was about a hundred feet in the air and from nowhere a white man appeared before me and he began to discuss with me about the red and white lights on the wings of the aircraft that continued to hover over me. I believe the man told me that the red light and the white light on this plane does not mean that this airplane is a commercial plane. The next number in this segment is the number three. This piece is called Section 10, Three Airplane Dream or s 10 a ID. In the month of July 2nd, 2010, I recorded this dream inside my dream book. Today I had a light dream. I dreamt that I was once again inside my old house at Asher Street. I was on the third floor and I looked out the window. It was nighttime. Then suddenly I seen a gigantic commercial aircraft fly over the roof of my house. This airplane was very low to the ground. The airplane was also tilted towards its left side. The plane kept flying towards the direction of John F. K. Airport. Then I lost sight of the plane because it continued to fly out of my sight. Then another smaller aircraft also flown over the roof of my house. The smaller aircraft was also heading towards John F. K. And it too flown in the air, slightly tilted towards its left. Then I noticed a great burst of air began to kick up in the sky. I started to realize that the great burst of wind must have come from a powerful wind storm, which had probably pushed the plane near ground level. Then I believe a male voice told me these words. The, the wind had brought these planes down towards the earth. Then I woke up and I have a drawing, a dream drawing of the airplane. Like I said, I believe it was nighttime. And I seen this first plane fly over the roof of my house, my old home at Halls Street. Street. and the plane was very big and that and it was slightly tilted towards the left and then after this plane disappeared towards John F. K. Airport I seen a smaller plane which was also tilted towards his left and it too flown toward John F. K. Airport The next number in this segment is the number four. This piece is called Section 10 for Airplane Dream or S104 AID. In the month of July 5th, 2010, I recorded this dream inside my dream book. Today I dreamt that I was at Asher Street and I looked out from my younger brother's bedroom window. I believe it was daytime maybe a late afternoon. 
I looked out the window for a while and and then lo and behold suddenly I heard a sound of planes coming in from the left side of the sky. There were probably five or six semi-small aircraft flying south. These planes flown in a kind of formation. I sensed urgency inside this dream. Then after the planes had flown by, I then spotted a fleet of helicopters, which I will talk about these helicopters in Parish Prophecy 5, letter H. And I have a drawing of these fleet of airplanes. They were gray in their appearance, and they flown like in a straight line formation, and they were, were semi-small. Okay, <clears throat> the next number in this segment is the number 5. This segment is called Section 10, 5 Airplane Dream or S10-5AID. In the month of July 23, 2010, I recorded this dream inside my dream book. Today I dreamt I was once again in my old home of Asher Street. I was in my brother's bedroom again and I was looking out the window. I believe I was, I believe it was a late evening, then a gigantic commercial airplane flown very low, even like uh, very low, uh, the more lower than the, uh, the other big plane I've seen uh, fly over my house in my previous dreams that I just mentioned. In this uh, particular dream, I was able to see the planes landing gear and some of this tires. Also I spotted the plane door was open wide. The airplane kept flying lower to the ground beneath. Um, as if it was trying to make an emergency landing. The aircraft was trying to fly towards John F. K. Airport. Then I spotted another airplane fly over my home. This plane was a cargo plane. It was white, like in a commercial uh, plane. Um, and then it also uh, flown, looked like, towards John F. K. Airport. Okay, as this plane continued to um, descend, it heights towards the ground. And uh, the second plane also flew out of my sight, like the first plane. Both planes were flying very low, and it was like as they were flying further away from my view, they were descending almost like to the ground. The next thing that happened in this dream was now I was looking at a brick wall, and then I see firemen leaders, or leaders of firemen um, stations, such as captains, captains and stuff in a dark blue uniform. These five men officers were all in an elongated van of a sort, which was in motion. Uh, the men, these white uh, captains or high officers in the fire department, 